Hi, everybody. This is Cindy Clark from PICB TV. And with me today is Jim Dale, the director of the Baldensville Center for the Arts. Good afternoon, Jim. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. Thanks for having me, Cindy. Well, today, Jim is going to tell us all about the Ghost Walk and Ghoul's Night Out that are upcoming. There, We've uh, uh, had started doing them again after COVID. That kind of shut things down for a while but it's a very unique experience with the Ghost Walk and the Ghoul's Night Out. So without any further ado, Jim, why don't you give us the information on both those events? Well, first, let me tell you about Ghoul's Night Out. What a great, great event. This will actually be our second Ghoul's Night Out. Uh, we did one a few years ago. It's a ladies only event. So if you've got a bunch of girlfriends, grab them, come on out. The date is October 10th. It's a Thursday evening. And we use Ghoul's Night as a kind of a preview to Ghost Walk. It's a uh, cocktail event and an hors d'oeuvre event and a DJ music event. So they'll be dancing and drinking. And we use it primarily as a fundraiser for ourselves. And uh, we expect to have at least two to 300 people come out. It'll be at Baldwin Canal Square under the big tent. Um, it'll be a Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And you can buy your tickets online at our website, Baldensville Center for the Arts, uh, dot org, or at Eventbrite. But uh, both those things are advertised, and you'll see our posters around town. Uh, as a lead up, we are going to, of course, be in our sixth annual Ghost Walk event that'll be October 11th, 12th, and we're adding a, a date this year, October 13th. So we're going to be running it. Uh, three nights because it's such a popular event. And we've had so much demand over the years We really want to be able to accommodate everybody's schedule So that's a long weekend for for most of us anyway, so we were able to do the Sunday um, Most people will be off on the following Monday, so it's a great great thing to have again. It'll be the same um, Routine it will be walking tour eight stops at local uh, houses and at each of them the ghosts will come out tell their um, personal stories of their demise, and, and then uh, entertain the crowds that'll come through. Now we'll have 16 tours per night. They leave from the big tent every 15 minutes, and they run. They start at 6 p.m., and the last uh, tour uh, ends at 9.45. And you can buy your tickets again online at baldensvillearts.org or at Eventbrite. Now this year we're very happy. We had 47 people come out for auditions, which was a record for us. Uh, we had about, uh, I think it was about 13 kids under the age of 12 came out for some of the kid parts. And we ended up casting one uh, in the role of Doll. And the Doll was uh, a, a story that we did several years ago. It's about a possessed doll that ends up taking, uh, taking its owner uh, a little too, whole, too, too close to, to, to their heart and holds on to them. But uh, the, the young actress that um, is going to portray that, uh, that character was phenomenal in her audition, and we just kind of matched that role up for her to that. Now the rest of the cast are, again, there's seven other stories. One of them we're going to repeat this year, you may know it from last year, is The Witch of Whiskey Hollow. We had such a great actress come out last year uh, and portray that for us. Now she wasn't available this year, but we found a great substitute for her, and we're looking forward to this kind of eerie, spooky event, and we hope that you'll all come out. Get online, buy your tickets. Right now, I think we've already sold 700 tickets. And uh, we expect uh, crowds could be anywhere from, from uh, uh, six to 700, uh, 700 people per night that are out on the streets of Baldensville. Well, that's fabulous, Jim. I thank you so much. It's so good for you. It's so good for the community. And uh, we all look forward to the Ghost Walk this year. Everybody join us for a real spooky experience. Thanks again, Jim. Thank you, Cindy.